Oh, ignore the bin in the back. But hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all okay. I have actually a really fun vlog at the moment. I, I feel like when there's one week I don't vlog, I'm like, oh my God, I feel like I've not even like spoken on YouTube for ages. Cause obviously the last vlog we sit down. Oh, she's come back, hello. Hi, okay. uh, but this vlog is gonna be like a summer prep pack with me because we're gonna go, me and Chin are off to Palma on Friday. So I'm gonna get my nails done. I need to do my fake tan routine. I need to pack, I need to get some books. I'm gonna do a haul. Like I've just got so many holiday prep things to sort out that I just thought I'd make it its own little video. And I'm flying solo to Palma. This is my first time flying solo. So I'm like kind of apprehensive, but I just thought it'll be a fun vlog. So I'm gonna go get my nails done now in Altrincham and then I'm gonna go meet staff, so. Let's go. I'm gonna go in now. I'm literally on time, one minute past. But these are the current nails. They look, to be fair, they've lasted so long, but they're just not nice. Like someone thought these were French tips that have faded. And I was like, okay, I think it's time to get my nails done. But anyway, let's go. I feel like ever since I've started coming to this new place, getting my nails done, I'm like, I love it. So, can't wait for my fresh set. You, you. My hand looks really ugly from this angle, guys, but we're just doing a pink frame, almost finished. <laughs> Look how cute! We're finished. Look how amazing! <laughs> this is my favourite set I've ever had, you know? That's so cute. They're gorgeous. Uh, I've got salmon bagel, which looks insane. So I've got ham and cheese, croissants, and some ice cheese, and I'm just waiting for my little tea. But these are the nails. How cute. Mm. And Saf's literally got matching. You need to get mine done again, soon though. She was my Instagram picture. <laughs> We couldn't resist, we got a little sweet treat, we got a cookie shirt, and I've still got my tea, but I spilled, I spilled all the milk, literally all over me. It actually hasn't stayed me, but I was like, fucking hell, I literally smell of milk now. Come here, Sal. Hey. Hey. I don't think we've told the vlog that, did I tell the vlog that you were pregnant? In the Sephora. But there's a little green in there. And we kept it hidden in Marbella. How funny. But there she is. She's cooking away. Cooking. And she's the size of what size is she? Puffin. A little puffin. Yeah. How big the puffin so though? Cute. How big the puffin? I feel like the bacon out. Do you think? They're like what? Like like that? What was it the other day? It was like a coconut or something. Whoa, that's or heavy. Pineapple. A pineapple? Yeah, like last that's week. Big. She's growing, she's growing. Nice, really nice. We're just going to have a little nap now and then I think we're going to go to Waterstones, aren't we? Because obviously I need something to read on holiday and there's two books. Well, Page Tune released a new book last year and I need, I've not read it yet, so I'm going to go see if they have it in because it looks really good. This cooker is insane. Look at those chocolate chunks. Oh shit, we need to go Waterstones, do you know where it is? Bring it to my next room. Are you going to pick something up for your reading? What are you going to read? I'm gonna be basic and get a clean Hoover book. Oh, you need to read it ends with it. Bro, I've not even read it either. I was it everyone's read it but me. Literally, everyone's read it but me. I bought it last summer, so I'm gonna read this. Lost it. I don't oh, know where yeah. it is, I'm gonna have to rebuy it. It must be in my room at home somewhere. I'm gonna go and buy it. There's a movie's coming out. Exactly. And we need to be in the loop. I need to read it before the movie comes out. Maybe I'll pick that up, you know. But, I'll see what they have. I'll see what they have. Okay, we're just at Waterstones. We're going in to find some books, please. Because we're readers. Oh, this is the fiction section. Oh, new history. Oh, this is my kind of section. Okay, they've not got any page two, but they've got the Magnolia Park one. So I think that's a sign to get it. And then Saf's gonna get Classic. <laughs> <laughs> Little readers. Okay, so today, I've just woken up, I'm gonna make some breakfast. My current obsession at the morning is chocolate protein porridge oats. With this protein powder, this is the Hermosa one. This shit tastes so good. If you're a Barry's fan, I feel like I've said this in like most vlogs where I've made this. If you're a Barry's fan, this is the protein powder they use at Barry's. Insider information, but I found it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make some breakfast. I have a facial at two o'clock, which I'm so excited for. This is like prime summer prep. This is proper, proper prep. So I've got a facial at two. And then I've got Pilates at half five. So 
I was supposed to have a Pilates class at 8 a.m. this morning and I just, I looked at the booking yesterday and I was just like, there's no way. I don't mind waking up at eight, that's fine, but getting to the class for eight was just not on my, was not on my list. And then I rang my manager and I was like, oh, I cancel my Pilates for eight, like it was so early. She was like, I go to Pilates at seven. And I was like, anyway. I am still obsessed with my nails. I showed Chitzia and Chitzia was like, this is the best set you've ever got. And I'm obsessed. These, I got these done at Hope Nails Manchester. They're in Altrincham, but they're just incredible. So yeah, that's kind of my day. Um, so let's make some breakfast. The only thing that's really sad is I like to put strawberries in it. And we don't have any strawberries. And I'm like, am I that bothered to run out to the shop and get strawberries? Maybe I should go get strawberries. I got them. I literally just walked to Tesco and got them. You're on the big camera today. The little camera's having a little break. I feel like I'm only gonna take her out like when I'm going out, and I feel like the big camera is for like stuff I film at home. Anyway, how is everyone's day going? I literally got back from where did I go yesterday? Where did we go? Oh, I went I got back from seeing Sav and literally just crashed. We had some lunch and then we went to the gym and then we had Caesar salad and literally went to bed. I don't know why I didn't film last night. I think I was just in a weird mood. But we started watching Love Island. I mean, I say we watched Love Island. I mean we literally just had it on and we were chatting. It was a little bit boring, but I'm just gonna give it some time because I always know the first couple of episodes are a bit slow to get into and then by like week one it's like oh my god amazing so i'm just gonna give it some time like maybe i'll just leave it on tonight and just see what happens whoa these are like monster strawberries and today i'm gonna try and start packing i mean my flat i mean my room is absolute state so i need to like tidy that away so then I can start packing, so, oh. but I'm gonna do it. So you guys got a busy day, but half porridge, half strawberries, look at that. But I just like a lot of strawberries. Oh my God, they're so hot, they're so hot. Mm. <laughs> it's literally half porridge, half strawberries, but that's just the way I like it. Anyway, uh, let's get my laptop and do some work while we have breakfast. You can't even see my breakfast. I love to eat it like that. But I'm just looking at this new book I got yesterday, the Magnolia Parks one. So this is what Sophia recommended me to get when we were in Paris in the bookshop. She was like, oh my God, you'd love them. It's like Gossip Girl vibes. And it does, I'm reading the blurb, it does sound like Gossip Girl vibes. So I'm like, I'm going to try it out. I do want to read all the Bridgerton prequels, but they had none in stock. So I got this. I feel like I will go back into Waterstones, maybe on Thursday, the big one in town, and see what else they have because I'm just not set on it. I don't know why I bought it because it's just thrown off my reading, my reading path. But you know, she's part of the family now, and she looks really nice next to my nails. Anyway, I digress. Oh, and this is still gonna be too hot to eat. This is like my version of an acai bowl because I hate acai bowls, but I've gone from like a chronically savoury girl for breakfast, like smoked salmon bagels, eggs, to then the sweetest thing on the planet, but. Okay, well, I just banged my head. I just put on a little bit of an outfit. I mean, barely an outfit, so she jeans and a skimmer's bodysuit because I'm going to go for my facial now. I have the greasiest hair in the world. I'm not gonna lie, I have the greasiest hair in the world, but I had Pilates today and then hot yoga tomorrow, so I was like, what is the point? Anyway, I've not had a facial in like two years. The last one I had was in LA and it was at Kate Somerville. So I'm really excited to see what it's like. Let me pay for parking, because I do not want to get another ticket. And I'm hungry, so I'm gonna have this facial, go home, make a chicken Caesar salad, and then go to Pilates. Even though I want to cancel it, I can't cancel it now because I'm doing class pass. And if you cancel it 12 hours before the class, you get charged. So, 
I'm going to have to go to Pilates. But it'll be fun. Let's go! Looks like weird. <laughs> I feel like... Have you watched that movie it's called The Iron Mask? Pardon? With Leonardo DiCaprio. Have oh, you watched yes. that movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I feel like right now. I know. Does that feel okay on you? Yeah, that feels fine. Okay. That feels great. Right. Let me know when you want me to turn it on. So this is the LED mask. So this helps with anti-aging, blemishes, pigmentation. It's brightening. It's uh, And it gives you like a really, really nice glow. It uses infrared <laughs> LED light. I give my little teeth. <laughs> yeah, it's actually really scary to look at myself in the, in the vlog. But I'm just doing my, I'm just having my facial, guys. Oh my god, it wasn't turning on then, imagine. Oh my god. Like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't plugged in properly. <laughs> okay, and how long do we leave this on for? So for 10 minutes. So it turns nice. itself off after 10 minutes. Oh nice. Yeah, so it's good so you don't have to set a timer or anything. Okay, I'm home and I just whipped up a quick Caesar salad. These are my obsession. I mean, look at that. I literally make this crispy chicken myself and I've added croutons. And usually I like black olives, but... I just, not added them today, but this just looks insane. I just got back from the facial. Oh. Hello. I got back from the facial and I feel like my face looks nice and glowy. And they gave me a little goodie bag. So I'm gonna, I'll unbox it after I've eaten this. Oh my God, sensational. And I'm gonna put something on until I've got Pilates. In about two hours. Okay, I've got about half an hour until I need to get ready for Pilates. But this is what I got from my facial today. Got a little Stanley Cup dupe. Look. The Stanley Cup dupe. Really cute. And then, what else did I get? Oh, right. This is the thing I didn't show you that she used on my skin. And it was like, I don't know. It was really hot and warm. So I'm excited. And then what else did I get? I got some face masks, really cute. I got some, ooh, shreddy super greens. That's actually really fun. Wanted to try that. And then I got an anti-wrinkle mask. Soothes your lines, soothes your minds. Oh my God, that's actually a really good tagline, which is actually crazy because I've just lost my eye mask. So thank you, current body. I'm gonna get ready for Pilates now. Ugh. Really can't be bothered, but I'm gonna go and feel better. I mean, I can't even cancel it because it'll cost me 12 quid to cancel. All right, let me see if I can find like a cute Pilates outfit to get me in the mood. Because if I don't look cute when I'm working out, I don't have a good session. There's gotta be something mental behind that. Because every time I went to uni or like did an exam and I didn't feel cute, I couldn't focus. Like my hair had to be washed, blow dried. Like I had to have a cute outfit on or I wouldn't focus. So. It's the same with gym wear. It's gotta be something mental up there that's like feel good, do good sort of vibe. Okay, I'm off to Pilates. I feel like we've been in the car a lot. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna wear this. I might put a white long sleeve top on, which is in the back of my car. But anyway, let's go to Pilates. So it can take me 15 minutes to get there and the class starts in half an hour. So I feel like I'll get there, stretch, and just chill on the reformer for a bit. But I wanted to show you my new favorite song. I make, I make playlists for each month and this one's called Juniper for June, which I thought was really cute. And listen to this song. It is a club remix of Espresso by Sabrina Carpenter. When I saw this, I almost dropped to the floor in gasp. Imagine if you're on average loss, sipping your apple spritz and Espresso club mix, come on. I think I would just, that would be it. I'd have to go home after that. I'd have to go home, but it's amazing. This is it. Let me see, I'll get you to the beat drop. If you're as obsessed with espresso as, I know, what's this guy doing? Be to listen to that song. And she's got a new song coming out on Friday. It's just a Sabrina Carpenter summer for me. She's replaced like my Dua Lipa. But anyway, let's go. Let's go to Pilates. Oh shit, I 
I forgot my Pilates grip socks. Bye, see you in 45 minutes. Good morning, everyone. It is now the next day and I'm off to Pilates. Look. No, I'm not going to Pilates, I'm going to hot yoga. Look what I just did. I was like, oh, I'm not going to wear any makeup today. I'll put some bronzing drops on. It's not okay. And we've got a spiky bit. I fly tomorrow and it's my last day. So I need to go into town. I need to get my toenails done. I need to go to Boots. I need to pick up some essential bits and I need to pack. So your girl's kind of stressed, but I'm not thinking about it because I'm going to go to hot yoga now. So I'm off. This is the third time doing hot yoga. I think it's my third time. And I've been every week now and it's insane. I just love it so much. Oh my God, I've just finished hot yoga. I don't look that sweaty, but it's because I've cooled down and basically I paid in this, I parked in this random car park and I didn't realize I paid for the car park next door. So then there was a guy at my car and I was like, no, I paid, I paid. He was like, no, you haven't. And I was like, I showed him and he was like, oh my God, that's for the one for next door. And I was like, please, like, don't give me a ticket. Like I literally paid four quid for an hour. I was like, please, please, please. And he was like, it's okay. I'll let you off this time. Like, it's fine. Um, like just don't do it again and I was like oh my god thank you so I managed to get out of that that's why I had to drive away so quickly I couldn't even sit down because he was like looking at my car and I was like shit myself so I'm just gonna nip into town now because I've got to take something back from H&M and I've got to go to Boots and I need to get my toenails done because when I went to get my nails done I didn't book my toes in as well which is so stupid of me honestly actually so stupid of me so now I've got to go get my toes done which is literally the longest thing in the world but that's what I'm doing today and it's a half one so hopefully I can get back at a reasonable hour and I've already like worked out today and then I can just chill and pack really because my flight I didn't even realize my flight's at 9 55 oh and by the way after that facial my skin I feel like it must have I feel like it's really really helped my glowiness and like it just feels so clear and plump that's the only word like plump juicy glowy skin as I woke up this morning so that finish will really work <laughs> just got in the car and the fucking bag ripped thank god i just got back but i got three books so i got this this looks very 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 good glamour and decadence and survival in peace and war and basically it's like post world war ii france south of france and it's about chanel and like it just looks really good it cost me fucking 12 quid but i mean whatever and then my obsession with Paris at the moment. I was like, I really, really want to learn more about Paris. Not France in itself, just Paris. So I got this one. It cost me 16 quid. But I mean, I'm excited to read it. It's just literally the history of Paris. It looks really good. And then if I didn't like those two, I just picked up this Bridgerton prequel because of Miss Bridgerton. Um, and apparently this, look, a generation before the Bridgertons, they were the Roscobies. So my summer plan is just to read every single julia quinn spin-off to bridgerton there's like three different more families that you can read about so i got them Birds have a <laughs> sorry about that let's go get our tea and toenails done and then we can go home and actually cook a caesar salad because that's what i'm craving right now the level of grease in my hair right now is not okay it's accumulation of like hairspray sweat it's horrible anyway i'm basically gonna do a full everything shower for my flight tomorrow it's currently four o'clock i didn't go get my toenails done because i literally couldn't be bothered and i'm hungry so i'm gonna go out a little bit later and get them done and i'm gonna show you what i use because i feel like i've really mastered my fake tan routine and how to get off my fake tan and what looks good on me I'm this is my fake tan like drawer or just drawer it's a shelf but this is what i use to take off my tan if, if it's gonna focus can you see it? It's the Bondi Sands Self Tan Eraser. This stuff is so good. I put it on, leave it on for like 10 minutes and then scrub it off. I'm just gonna put this on.
No, it's right. I'm gonna put that all over my bod and leave it on for about 10 minutes. I literally look so pale, but I'm not gonna fake tan until I go to bed because I thought I, I hate sitting in fake tan when I'm like walking around and I need to get my toenails done. But taking off most of the tan, really good. So I'm gonna moisturize, sit here. I also wash my hair. I'm just gonna moisturize and sit in it. I've got a call. I need to make some early dinner and got a pack. So this will be me for this evening and I need to run out and go get my nails done. Why do I always leave my toenails to the last minute? It's actually annoying. But I think for dinner, I'm gonna have crispy chicken Caesar salad and I'll show you how I make it because I make like codoletta, which is like, it's basically Italian breaded chicken and I fry it and it's insane. So that's my new obsession. So I'll, t I'll show you how I make it um, and have that for dinner. I don't actually know what I'm gonna do, but it's such a nice evening. So maybe we go for a bike ride or something, I don't know. But Maddie's got work in a couple of hours, so. It's gonna be a solo night in, but to be fair, I need to pack. I'm like, oh, what can I do tonight? No, you need to pack. That's what, that's what you need to do tonight, you need to pack, babes. On the big camera now, so cut your chicken. I've got egg and breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs, you need some salt in there. These are literally just the white breadcrumbs from MS. some salt. And I like to add also some garlic granules. You know when they like pop the lid? Oh, oh, I literally went everywhere. Anyway, just a little bit. Oh, that was a lot. Take your chicken, put it in your egg. It's really gross texture. <laughs> Bro. Then I'll just leave it to rest for a bit. And then I'll just do the same. It doesn't look like a lot of chicken. Maybe I should have done another breast, but we don't have any in. That's so rude. Hi. Hey, you are right? Yeah, I'm just like trying to sort my life out. Mood. So I'm just like, what am I bringing to New York? Like, it's literally two days. Like, I don't need to bring. Like, I need like two evening outfits and like a couple bikinis. Like, that's it. You don't need a lot? No, so I'm just trying to like decide what I want to bring. Because I do want to go shopping. So I am going to bring yeah, my there's, Well, there's some nice shops. Mm. Um, what are you eating? So, so I'm trying on um, <laughs> my stuff. And like, if I really like it. Please don't speak with your mouth like that. It's gross. <laughs> <laughs> my vlog. Oh my goodness. Are you excited to go on holiday with me? Oh my god. I'm so excited. What are you drinking? Whoa! Coke Zero. I'm just making cordelette up. Mm. For my uh, chicken Caesar. Delicious. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. You know we always set the abductor on fire the other night because of this. Oh there was a God. fire on our abductor. If you're my landlord, there wasn't a fire. But Maddie had to put this fire out. It was fucking scary. So just be careful with hot oil, ladies and gents. But these. These. Oh my god, so crispy! Oh my god, hot oil is no joke. So this well, this smells like my house on a Sunday. If this doesn't make you want to eat a cheese chicken Caesar salad, I don't know what will. Look at this, man. Look at this Caesar salad. Oh my God. This is what li literally my dreams are made of. Okay, I just got back from my toes. I don't know if I'm going to show my toes. I don't know if people like to see feet, but I just got pink and they're really, really cute. But I'm just going to quickly blow dry my hair because it's looking a bit lackluster. And then... I need to pack. Okay, feeling so much better. Quick blow dry. Feeling like a less frizzy mess. Anyway, this is the Palmer pile. I know, it looks a bit crazy. And this is the suitcase. Ugh! 
<laughs> I've opted for the smaller suitcase because I've only got 20 kg. So I'm like, I'm packing light. And me packing light does not, it's not, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. So I'm really going to challenge myself. Um, and how cute are these stickers, by the way? I got these my birthday from mum ages ago. And I never stuck them. And it just makes my case so much more recognisable. So, let's. Ugh. Let's pack. Right. Oh my god. I've been looking for my curlers for about three weeks. And they're in this fucking suitcase. That just sums me up. I feel like we've got a lot of yellow, blue, and white. Seems to be the theme of the holiday. No pink. Oh. We've got something pink. Ugh. We've got something pink. Like, trying to think about what I need. I'm only there for three nights, so I need two dinner looks because the first night, Chin doesn't get there till 1am. Two dinner looks, two bikini three bikinis, three day looks and pjs okay so this is one of my i don't know if this will be night or day how cute is this play suit this is from baby boo fashion oh my god this is me in a fucking summer dress and it fits insane so that i think i might wear that in an evening so i've got that and then i picked up this really cute skirt i like the ruffle vibe for summer i thought i'd just show you a little haul so i picked that gonna pick that up i don't actually know what i'm gonna wear this with because the top i kind of plan this outfit around doesn't really look fine so i'm just gonna bank that chintzy has a top that will go with this skirt for me don't know if to bring this or not i've got this skirt last year in ibiza and i never wore it i've never worn it i didn't wear it last summer i couldn't find a top that went with this um so i might bring that and just see. See, a lot of outfits are like, I'm going to bring and see. I've got this really cute top and it's got, it's got bows at the front. And it's high neck and it makes the girls look really good. So I'm going to bring that. Maybe wear, some, maybe wear it with some like denim shorts or something. Right, I need to now. God, that was really quick. I just need to do my makeup and my toiletries and find out what I need to wear to the airport. I always find my airport outfit way more stressful than any other outfit. Because, like, I want to be comfy. But then also, when I get to the country, I don't want to be too hot. So I'm, like, reframing from joggers. But I just want to be comfy, so. Okay, this is what it looks like. These are the re reject piles. But I feel like that's going to be 20kg. I've added in some extras. And I need to add in these pyjamas. So, let's just pray it's 20kg. Anyway, it's fake tan time. Miss Madison is back. Hello. Hello, hello. The vlog hasn't seen you today. It's because I look like a vampire. <laughs> I I've got my Molly May. I bought a fresh Molly May today. But it's like the nicest shade of tan. Oh, beautiful. The difference. It's like a gorgeous shade of tan. Anyway, I'm going to do my whole bod and then get into bed. I'm packed. Maddie looks like she's going on holiday maybe she's actually no. just... She's going to a different de uh, yeah, destination. Yeah. Bye, guys. We're going, but I will see you in the Palmer vlog. Oh, sorry. Bye.